Hey guys, um, originally I had um, an upgrade video on my original channel about Glocks. I totally forgot to remake it. Um, first, I'm sort of going to sort of go all over the place, but hopefully what I'm going to do is direct you toward the things, and guys remember I'm no professional. Um, you know, I just learned the hard way and this is what came to me from, you know, just using pistols a lot. Uh, first thing I want to talk about is the grip. If you plan on using the Glock a lot, I don't have a broken grip on right now, but the front post and the rear post, they break really easy unless you JB wall them or you do some mods. Uh, these right here, this is a garter frame. It comes with a brass front post and the rear post is not reinforced, but these two are actually reinforced. And what happens since the front post is brass, it actually snaps off inside instead of crumbling like these ones. Uh, right now, Glotter is the only one with the brass front, and I JB welded the, the front post, and they're really sturdy. So, um, if anything, I'm going to recommend is the the Glotter grip. All right, guys, that's like my my number one thing. Uh, the second thing I really recommend for you know long term is a Glotter steel trigger lever. Unless you don't mind bending the um, the these one back in place, the Mori ones and the Wii ones, they they sort of bend after a while, and what happens? You sort of have to bend them in place. If not, they get stuck on your slide, and so they'll start jamming. Uh, these ones, they they never I've never had one. I probably got 8k, 9k, 10k easy on some of my Glocks, and uh, these are really good. So, garter grip and the uh, garter steel trigger lever. Um, another thing, guys, that um, that causes a lot of problems. I don't know if you can see. There's a crack on your plastic sights on the Wii, the Wii and the TM and KGW. These ones start cracking right down here, and eventually your blowback housing unit, this part right here, starts becoming loose, and it just it becomes really annoying. So I highly recommend you actually get any type. It doesn't matter what it is. Um, don't get 5KU. <laughs> I just don't want to support them. <coughs> but um, if it's metal, use it aluminum. Try to get something that's aluminum or metal that won't strip and it's not going to crack down the middle. So it'll hold your blowback housing unit in place like it should. Alright, so that's the third thing that I, I really recommend. And the other parts, these are not really needed unless, like, I say run your gun until it breaks. Um, if you're running a TM, now uh, we I haven't, uh, the Wii ones break around here, but for a TM, I don't know if you can see it, this one was glued, but uh, actually a lot of these loading nozzles, stock ones, they start, they break, dude, I use a propane, so if, you, if you're not using propane, that's fine, but once they break, they break, um, try to get an airsoft surgeon super hard loading nozzle, or garter, or something that's an enhanced you know, loading nozzle that's going to be able to take propane and take damage. So try to get that when that breaks. Now here are some upgrades that you really don't need, but if you want to upgrade your Glock, you can always do that. Uh, first thing first is let's look at the blowback house unit. This is the stock TM, all right? Blowback house unit. One, you can upgrade the piston. You can get a uh, PDI piston. I don't have one on me right now, but um. You can get a nicer seal on here, or you can replace it. Um, the first thing we'll weigh it for you. It's 52 grams. All right. Now here's the upgrade. There's two upgrades actually. This is AIP, and AKA just came out, and I've been testing it. It's working great. Uh, this is aluminum. It comes with an O-ring on here, and you can just switch that for a thicker one if you got a bigger uh, loading nozzle. And this weighs only 25 grams. Alright, so it drops the weight big time. What that does is uh, increases your cycling speed, gives you a little more gas efficiency, you know, drops the, the uh, slide weight, and um, that's pretty much it. Your recoil goes down as well because you're dropping weight. Alright, so that's that for this part. Let's put that over here. Uh, next part that's pretty important if you ever want to upgrade FPS. The first two things you're going to invest your money on is a type board barrel and a bucking. Don't go anywhere else. Just get a type board bucking, a type board barrel, and a bucking. I'm a huge fan of PDI. I like 601, 600 by 9 ball power barrels. Those two are my favorite barrels. Uh, 
empirically speaking, these give you the most FPS. 603 does not give you the most FPS compared to these, okay? So I'm not gonna argue what's more accurate or anything. I'm gonna I'm, I'm only gonna talk about what gives you the most FPS. 600, 605, and 60, I mean 601. They all give you the most FPS. Nine ball power being the strongest. So you pair that up with a bucking. Bucking, I leave that up to you guys. Um, PDIW hold RA Tech reaps um, nine ball. I don't use nine ball anymore, but that's another whole story. All right, uh, what else? Now, Glocks are known for light striking. Unfortunately, during summer, if you have any light striking problems, you're gonna want to get a stronger hammer spring to help combat that. Um, it's the last resort. I always try to say, make sure your hammer assembly is functioning. Make sure it's lubricated, smooth. Uh, try not to get high flow valves. That's another whole thing. Uh, I'm trying to keep this simple. So if you do have problems with light striking, usually you get the Garter 150 hammer spring, or you can try a 130. Um, those by Vmax and Hidia, Hidakaya. I don't know if I said it right. Um, the recoil spring. Not a big fan of Garter ones, but you usually get these if you're running aluminum slide. Now, do I recommend aluminum slide? If you're playing a lot and you don't want to keep on replacing plastic slides, yes. One thing that I want you guys to know for aluminum slide, whatever company you get, try to get the barrel that goes with it. Don't try to mix and match. So if you get, I hate the slide, but if you get an airsoft surgeon, you get the airsoft surgeon out of barrel. If you get a gutter, try to get the gutter barrel. If you get a PGC, get the PGC out of barrel. Try to keep it paired. <coughs> all right, this was paired. All right, I didn't mix and match anything. This is detonator with a detonator. Oops, sorry about that. Garter with garter. All right. Um, another important thing: if you want threaded barrels, I'm gonna be honest. If you have a really he heavy suppressor, this is not the best way to do it. It's gonna drag on the slide. All right. Uh, and it's just long term, it's not really smart, but if you want to do it, that's fine. The uh, best way to attach suppressors is this mount. Um, there's two companies, there's Nine Ball and there's Dirty Leopard or 5KU. Uh, I don't like supporting 5KU, but if you don't want to drop the money on Nine Ball, you can pick these up. And it, there's no pressure on the actual outer barrel or slide, which is really good. Alright, and... This is for the experienced, uh, you know, sort of people who go far. You really, you don't really need this. This is a steel hammer assembly for the Glock 17. Um, that's just an upgrade if you guys want to do it, but uh, I would stay away from it. Leave your hammer assembly alone. Those are for the people who really want to mod everything. Another thing that I think that's not a bad upgrade, these 9-ball gasket lips. They actually do work. They do increase your FPS 5 to 10 FPS. I've seen it peak at 15 sometimes. And this is AIP mag reinforced lip, so if you drop it, you know it's not gonna break. And this is AIP uh, base plate, so it's aluminum. I can drop these. As you can see, they've taken some drop, good drops and they're still functioning. Nothing has broken on these. All right, um, I hope I covered the important stuff. You guys have any questions or anything, just throw me a message. And that's, that's the basics of upgrading a Glock 17 and uh, I'm gonna put in the description in the link the form that's really good you know those that's where it's you know detailed really good people learn from them they're the masters I'm just the guy who learned the hard way okay I'll see you guys around have a good day